hi, it's Cloudy with um, the next thrilling installment of uh, From the Vault. This is, um, I think this is episode 22. And of course this is where I show you guys the records that were in my collection before I started uh, showing all my pickups on uh, the VC. And as usual, I've got you guys to uh, help me choose which records I'm going to show. A uh, quick recap, all my um, all my records were numbered 1 to 150 and um, you guys pick a number and I show the number that corresponds to that record. There's a blog post listed below if you want to join in and pick a number and get a shout out and see which record is associated with that number then click on the blog post link below. Don't just guess because most of the numbers are gone now. Uh, well, not most of them, probably about two thirds of the way through. And um, it's, uh, yeah, it's a blog post, it's a grid. Uh, if there's an empty square, that number's not being picked. Pick that number, put it in the comments, and I'll show it in the next video. I had an overwhelming response, really, to the uh, the last video. Usually I, I sort of scrape through with between three, three to six um, uh, comments, uh, numbers given uh, over the last couple of uh, videos, but I got 12 this time. At least I think it's 12. There's quite a few comments as go through. So if I don't call out your uh, number in this video, then uh, I apologise. Let me know in the comments below, and um, oh, we'll give it a go in the in the next uh, episode. It's uh, it's a genuine mistake <coughs> if I've missed you off. I promise you. Um, 12 is a lot. I tend to ramble a bit, so if this gets a bit long, I will uh, split it into two parts. Um, without further ado, uh, let's get going. I'm going to do them in, in number order um, that were given. So, uh, first up, uh, Vinylizer. John, you picked uh, number 16, and that is a <coughs> copy of Wasted self-titled EP. This is from 1984 and it's on the uh, Music for Nations label. Five tracks uh, on here. This is a, a this is probably my favorite um, thing that Wasted uh, put out and it's, and it's only an EP. And I, oh, I do like the other Wasted um, records that have been out. This is of course uh, Pete Way from uh, formerly of a UFO. Um, this is actually their second release. I think Vices came out before uh, this one, uh, and whereas UFO have, still haven't really clicked uh, with me, uh, Wasted clicked straight away. Uh, I had this on dub tape in the 80s, and um, I picked this up originally in um, uh, January uh, 2015 uh, for about £3, which wasn't a bad deal. More hard rock than metal, um, but as I say, it's my favourite like, favorite, uh, album I've heard from uh, Wasted. Um, there's the... Uh, Music for Nations label. At some point, I will. I am going to do a collection video just of my uh, Music for Nations um, records now because I've got a got a fair few. I think it might be an interesting video one day. We'll see. Uh, so thanks very much, uh, John Weinweiser, for uh, getting involved and kicking off this episode. Uh, next up, um, Mark Santucci. Uh, hopefully, I have. Uh, pronounce your name uh, correctly. Now Mark doesn't make um, videos but he's a keen commenter on uh, my channel and lots of yours as well. I, I see his name pop up uh, quite a lot. Always has insightful questions uh, to ask. Um, you chose number 20 Mark and that is uh, Chariot with uh, Burning Ambition. Uh, this is from 1988 and it's on uh, Shade Records, particularly exciting label. But, uh, there we go. And uh, the the inner sleeve on this is just uh, plain uh, black, uh, shiny paper. Um, I bought this for about five pounds on eBay. Um, couple of oh, three, three we'll get on for three years ago now. And um, this is a, I think a good example of how uh, the price of secondhand vinyl has soared. Uh, ever since. Uh, there are no listings for this under uh, £13 in similar conditions. So in um, in little under three years it's it's gone up uh, sort of 250%, which is crazy really because it's 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 a good album but uh, it's not as good as some of the, uh, the, the great stuff out there. 
Um, I think this band's problem was uh, they sounded too much like an early 80s heavy metal band. And in 1988, that just didn't cut it anymore. Um, now, if a new wave of traditional heavy metal band released this now, um, people rave, rave over it. It's, you know, it's really good. And from a nostalgia point of view, it is really, really good. Basically, straight up. Uh, UK heavy metal just uh, released six years too late to say no. I think it's 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 pretty good. Uh, favorite track on here is probably "Cradle to the Grave." Okay, this picture of uh, the band. Uh, John Smith on bass looks uh, like he wants to be Steve Harris as well. Great stuff, but uh, thanks very much, uh, Mark, for. Picking that number, it was good listening to this one again. I hadn't learned to listen to this one for uh, a good year or so. Uh, next up, uh, our friend over at Nasty Metal uh, Productions. Uh, you chose number 21, and uh, that's a single. And uh, it's a single by uh, Anthrax, and it is uh, Make Me Laugh. So a single from uh, State of Euphoria, and uh, this is on yellow vinyl with a custom label. Uh, it's got Make Me Laugh on uh, side one and Antisocial Live on side two. Um, I've got at least, I think, two other versions of this um, in my collection. It's not actually one of my favorite Anthrax songs, but just seem to be a single, whether a 7-inch uh, coloured vinyl, black vinyl, 12-inch, that I seem to have come across and always seem to buy. Um, but, uh, yeah, not too much to say on it. Anthrax, uh, State, of Euphoria, State of Euphoria single, make me laugh. Um, so thank you for that. Mas nasty, ma nasty, nasty Metal Productions. Um, next up, uh, Chris Howard. Um, uh, a Again, someone who comments on my uh, on my videos uh, a fair bit over the uh, uh, last year or so uh, doesn't make videos himself, but seems to have uh, good knowledge and again some good interaction uh, with him. You pick number uh, thirty-two, and that's my copy of uh, Cinderella uh, Night Songs. Um, said this many many times. This is the first band I ever saw. Uh, live, uh, always classified as glam by their looks, but I never really considered them a, a, a glam band. Again, I had this on a dub tape um, uh, back in the 80s, and I was uh, kind of surprised when I saw what they, they looked like, because, um, you know, there, there's nothing really uh, sickly sweet about the lyrics in here, which I, I think would put them in the glam category, uh, just sort of bluesy, uh, hard uh, rock. Um, my copy, uh, I thought it was in better condition than it was, but it's got a little bit of uh, ring wear and, uh, and edge wear. So uh, I think I'm going to be on the lookout for a better uh, quality uh, cover. But uh, the vinyl is actually in great condition, just standard Vertico uh, label. Yeah, uh, great album though. And um, yeah, Cinderella. Uh, favorite on the VC, I think, because you see this one uh, gets shown a lot. I don't, everyone, uh, I don't think I've ever, ever heard anyone have a bad word to, to say about it. So I'm getting distracted by the glare on my uh, glasses. Um, next up, I'm actually getting through these pretty quick, so maybe this will only be one part. Um, Number 51 was chosen by a new uh, channel uh, to me. Again, somebody who uh, doesn't make videos but took the time to comment on the, the last one and uh, leave a number. And we welcome all people here at, uh, at Cloudy Towers. Uh, and that's uh, Metal Eddie Van Dyke. <laughs> great, great username. I do love that. Uh, so you chose number 51. And uh, that is my copy of uh, Testament practice what you preach um, this is what 1989 this is UK pressing on Megaforce another very well-known album amongst you uh, the metal guys out there um, beautiful condition 
uh, lyric sheets, and a very young looking uh, testament there. Certainly, uh, Eric Peterson and uh, Alex Skolnick all look very, and Chuck Billy as well, all look very uh, fresh faced. Now, I saw um, Testament live uh, a couple of weeks back in, uh, in Glasgow, and they were absolutely um, superb. Um, loved every minute of it, but they they all look a little bit older now. So the Omega Four label. So this is their their third album. Um, lyrically, it's a shift from the more sort of the cult um, topics, a uh, bit more sort of um, political, I guess, um, in in nature this time round. Um, politics and corruption, which. Uh, one of the same thing, uh, do you not think? Um, uh, classic lineup: Chuck Billy, Alex Skolnick, Eric Peterson, Greg Christiansen, Christiansen, Christian, and uh, Louis uh, Clemente. Um, probably my well, test, the first three Testament albums are fairly interchangeable with me. Usually, the last one I listen to, I kind of think that is my um, favourite. Um, Songs of Perilous Nation is brilliant. Title track, Practice What You Preach. Um, great stuff. Um, the Time Is Coming. Uh, I love that song too. In fact, I could probably um, uh, reel them off. Nightmare coming back to you as well. I could burst it. It's, 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 a, it's a great um, album and um, one that I'm clearly rambling about forever. Um, so I'm not a ballad guy, especially not a thrash metal ballad guy. Um, I used to blame Metallica for inventing the uh, the thrash uh, ballad with uh, nothing else matters, but of course Testament released one in, in 1989. Uh, but the but uh, to be fair to them, they did call it uh, the ballad, and while it starts slow, slow it uh, it does kick ass on the uh, on the fast bits. Uh, it also ends with an instrumental instrumental. Uh, trouble talking today. An instrumental which is it's okay, but it's it's like a lot of instrumentals. I don't think is particularly um, memorable. And um, yeah, so there we go. Testament practice what you preach. Uh, thank you, uh, Metal Eddie Van Dyke, for uh, <coughs> picking that one. So. Right. Next up, number 58 from the UK's own headbanging uh, Zulu, headbanging Zulu UK, uh, Steve. Number 58 is <clears throat> Raven Rock Until You Drop. They are their debut album, a new wave of British heavy metal classic in 12 inches of uh, plastic. This is on uh, Neat Records, so it's 1981. It's on the yellow Neat label. And this copy actually comes with all the guts. And uh, by that, I mean the merch sheet. Which is uh, it's kind of it's it's perforated um, across the middle and down the middle. Um, it's got a backstage pass, uh, official fan club form, a uh, t-shirt offer three pounds twenty-five, and a little picture of the band to stick on your bedroom wall. Um, what else do you have in here? We have. Uh, Lyric sheet, very homemade looking lyric sheet. And there's a poster in here as well. Yeah, just a bigger version of the, uh, the little uh, photo on the merch sheet. And this is all in completely um, mint uh, condition. Um, and I had this record for months before I even noticed they were they were in there. Um, believe it or not, I just I I I, I bought it, 
I pulled out the record, looked at it, played the record, and um, I just happened to look in there one time, or something fell out, or I, I can't even remember what happened now, but uh, I suddenly realised there was all the uh, the original uh, guts uh, to the record in there, and uh, so I had no idea when, I, when the, um, they were in there when I bought it, and I, um, I wonder whether the seller uh, realised they were in there either, because uh, given what I paid for it, uh, uh, I'm not sure he did. Um, I got it uh, dirt cheap. Um, the title track is quite um, bluesy, I think. Um, but the rest of the songs aren't. The rest of the songs are a bit more uh, kick-ass. It's a short, sharp kick in the uh, in the face, and uh, it's a ten in my book. I I, I absolutely love this raving album. Uh, who's that? That was Steve, Headbanging Zulu. Uh, hope you like that one, Steve. Um, thanks for playing along. Uh, 